Hey guys, so the ban list came out. Huge shakeup. Absolutely huge shakeup. First of all, Ive Ugin is gone. Does that mean that Adrazi will not be a deck in modern? I don't know. Adrazi will still be a deck in Legacy, so you can play it in Legacy, but I is so brutal. It's absolutely brutal. I think it's going to kill Adrazi, or at least make it a tier 2 deck. It's definitely not going to be 70%, 60%, 40% of the field. It's going to be far less now. The other big news, Ancestral Visions is unbanned. That card is bonkers crazy. That card is insane. One of the best blue cards. So now it's giving blue the potential, not absolute, but the potential to make a control deck. And Sword of the Meek, which is combo for Tezzeret. Uh, so that adds another combo piece. So instead of Splinter Twin, we have Sword of the Meek combo. I like it. I think some of these bands, um, obviously the Ive Ugin band makes a lot of sense. Uh, the Vintage band, I don't play enough Vintage to know uh, if Lodestone Golem is actually that OP. But yeah, I is gone. We're going to have probably a lot more diversity. Ancestral Visions is back. So not Jace, but Visions is back. And Sword of the Meek is back as well. Um, Sword of the Meek, I think, is a very interesting combo deck. Artifact heavy. Maybe Artifact Hate becomes more relevant now. Huge, huge news. Uh, it will shake up modern. 100% this will change the modern meta. What is it going to change into? I'm not positive. But I definitely applaud them banning I because it needed to go. And experimenting with Visions as well as Sword of the Meek. Uh, Sword of the Meek offers an interesting combo deck. Visions offers control potentially the ability to actually have a deck. Anyway, bye guys.